straightness. Straightness is quite simple. If I have a part like this one, and here is one of the views, if I put a tolerance here using my leader and feature control frame, and then I put the symbol of straightness here, which is just the horizontal line, it has to be 0.1. So the straightness of this feature has to be 0.1. So we pointed at this line here, which means it's a line on this surface. And not only one line, but any line on that surface that's parallel to the line that's pointed at by the leader has to fulfill this tolerance requirement. So any line of those or any line between them has to fulfill this tolerance. Let's look at the measurement. What does the real line look like? Does it actually look like a straight line? In reality, we measure the first point, and we find somewhere here, and then we measure the second point, and it's a little bit lower, and then comes the third point, a little bit higher, and then we have all these points that result from our measurement. And this is the real line. And the straightness tolerance specification means I have two lines, and any point from the measured line has to fall between these two lines. The distance between these two lines is the width of the tolerance zone, the 0.1 in this case. And where does it start? It starts from the lowest point to the highest point. So the distance between the lowest point to the highest point cannot exceed 0.1. So you just start with the lowest point and draw the other line at a distance of 0.1 or whatever the value of the tolerance zone is. And any other point on the line has to fall between them. So if your line actually looked like this, then it's definitely out of tolerance. It's not acceptable, because we have these deviations right here. Then we have to look at the next line. So we measure the next line, and we have these points. And we do the same process. Again, we find the lowest point, and at a distance of 0.1 from it is another line. My measured points have to fall between these two lines. But what if I measured and I found out that the line looks like that? See, it has a tendency of an inclination upwards. Where does my tolerance zone for the straightness lie? Is it like that, and this distance has to be 0.1, or is it like this? And the correct answer is exactly here. So the distance between the lowest point and the highest point along the orientation of the line has to be 0.1, because I'm not trying to control the parallelism of the line to another feature or its position. I don't care about the orientation of the line. All that I care about is that the line itself is straight, so I have to adjust my tolerance zone to fit the orientation of the real line. Okay? This is a very important concept. Never confuse straightness with orientation. Straightness is only there to control that the lines are not wavy. But as long as it's a straight line, it will be okay according to my straightness tolerance regardless of its orientation. One more thing is that these different lines Although they are given the same feature control frame that is pointing at this one line, and although they all have to be straight, they're all independent of each other. They're all evaluated independently of each other, which means the first line can be like this, the second line can be like this, the third line can be like this, but as long as every line is straight in this direction, then the tolerance will be okay. So, Two important thinking mistakes that you have to avoid. The first is that you think that the straightness tolerance could control the orientation or the position of your element. And the second mistake is if you put it on a surface, does this mean that all the lines of the surface should be straight in all directions? No, only those that are parallel to the line that you tolerated. If you want to control the straightness in any other direction, in this case, the direction perpendicular to the screen, then you will have to put another tolerance, another straightness tolerance pointing at this line and say this has to be straight. Now let's look at the case where we tolerate the symmetry axis or the center line. Until now, we had this object, but this time I'm going to give it a dimension here and say this distance is for example 3 and point with my leader at the dimension line of the 3 and specify straightness with 0.1. What you're telling everybody by doing this is that you want the symmetry axis of these two lines to be straight. The measurement technician is going to measure the distance here. It should be 3, but regardless of how much it is, he will put a point exactly in the middle. And do the same thing here, and the same thing here. 
So you have all these points, and then this resulting line is the tolerated line. So again, we have here our tolerance zone of 0 0.1, and all these points have to lie in the tolerance zone. Any point outside is not acceptable. So you're tolerating the symmetry axis, which means if the line of my object exaggerated looks like this, it will still be okay. Right? Because the distance between here and here is maybe 6, but the middle line would be somewhere here. The middle point from here to there, it may be 3, and the middle point is there, but it's always here in the middle, then it's a straight line. The most common case where you will tolerate the straightness of a center line is going to be the center line of a cylinder. So you have a cylinder in this case. From the side view, it looks like this, and here is the center line, and then you give it a dimension. Say the diameter is 3, and by pointing at the dimension line, I tolerate the straightness of the center line of the cylinder. But what I did right now is that I tolerated that the center line should be between these two straight lines. This means I tolerated only in 2D. So in the isometric view, I only tolerated my center line in this direction. So we're going to have these two lines, and the center line should lie in between them, which is not what we wanted. We wanted to tolerate it in all directions because it's a cylinder, and we want it to be straight in three dimensions. And in this case, you have to add a diameter sign before your tolerance zone. And this transforms your tolerance zone from the distance between these two lines into a cylinder that has a diameter of 0.1. So now that these are not two lines, but this is a cylinder with a diameter of 0.1, I can get the center line as a result of a measurement. We will say how in a second, but let's say this is our center line. Our tolerance zone will look something like this. And the points in the center line can look like this, as they should lie inside the cylinder with a 0.1 diameter. And the way we get the center line, as a result of a measurement, is by measuring the diameter here and setting a point where the center of this circle is. Same thing here. Get another point. Same thing there. Another point, and so on. And that's how we had the result as the center line. Quick exercise just to check you got it. I have a part that looks like this in reality. This is an exaggeration of the real geometry of the part. So I have these two drawing views. This drawing view looks like this. Of course here it's a straight line because it's the drawing. And from this side it looks like this. And if I put a tolerance on both views, a straightness tolerance, so in this view, this tolerance, I draw it in green tolerated this line in any line parallel to it, which means it tolerated this line and any line parallel to it. So all these lines. And with yellow, I tolerated this line, which is this line and any line parallel to it. So which straightness tolerance is going to be not okay for this part? Clearly, the one with the waves, the green surface for the green line, and the other one will be okay because these yellow lines are straight through. If you have this cylinder here with a diameter of, let's say, 20, and then you put a dimension, and you put your tolerance on the dimension line, and you say straightness with a 0.1 diameter, which of these two cylinders will not be okay, and which one will be perfectly okay according to the tolerance? I think you got it, right? This cylinder will be okay, According to the tolerance, the center line is straight. But in this case, it looks like this. Looks like a banana, which is not okay according to the straightness tolerance.